Okay, I'm up. Okay. Is that salsa? Why is it brown? It's just, it looks weird, but it's really good. It looks like I'm naked. Okay, now give me that one. That <clears basket. throat> All of our storage right now is so cute. The basket. This is the most satisfying thing. Whenever I was washing them, I was like holding them all together and I was like, not washing, but wetting. Mm -hmm. And you have to go this way. Okay. Thank you. rocking chairs. <laughs> <laughs> I almost fell because of the blanket. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back if you've been here before. I've got my best friend Alexis with me and today we are reviewing and unboxing ColourPop. I got a package here and then she has a bunch of eyeshadow palettes from Hush and highlighter. and highlighter and so we're going to be reviewing those she's used a little bit of hers so hers isn't super like first time Not but these. it's first time for me using it and those are brand new yeah I don't remember exactly what I ordered so and this came in really fast it came in forever ago I just haven't had time to film it you have a lot more stuff than I thought you would cut yeah same it's all wrapped in this bubble wrap so the first thing is this highlighter brush. I've never had a highlighter brush. I don't even have a highlighter brush. Super excited about this. It just doesn't fun. work for me. Oh yeah, I should probably tell you. The highlighter brush, I'll have to go in to my app and I'll put it on the screen how much everything was. It was all really cheap though and I think I got it on Black Friday or something around there. They had a sale. So it was a pretty good deal too. So that's first. And then I also got foundation stick. A brow pencil, concealer, and oh, I got primer. It's matte and blur primer. And then the last thing I got was setting powder. Like, that is everything, but I was like trying to <laughs> remember what I got, and that's not what I thought it was. Anyway, so we're just gonna get started now. Since I actually, I'm gonna put moisturizer on first. I have really dry skin. I guess I could plug this, I can just put who it's by. That was the Sahara and the Amazonia bundle. So that was 20 together? Yeah. And this is on Hush, by the way. She got this on Hush. And they're by Face Candy. And then the next one was Liquid Eyeshadow Jordana. And that was $5. That's pretty good. Make a makeup guru it. I know. Mm -hmm. I, I love it when I do that. I just feel like such a YouTuber whenever I like put my hand behind it. We waited a little too long. It's starting to get dark. So sorry. Here's what the matte primer looks like outside of the packaging. And the box is really nice. It has like stars on it that are, um, what's it called? Imprinted or whatever. It's cute. Anyway, I like how this looks. It looks very cute. And then since I spent $37 on Wish, if you spend over $35, you get a free spin. And I will, you can get free brushes, palettes, or a face mask. And I ended up winning this sugar palette. This is childproof because I can't open it. <laughs> I get to open it. Oh, it spins. Good job. I tried that and it didn't. Okay, anyway. I'm just done. Now, I don't know what I'm doing, so Alexis is going to be kind of talking me through it and trying to help me do my makeup. So I'm going to put it on this blending sponge thing and just kind of put it in. I saw somewhere that someone likes to do it. Was that you? You like to put your primer on the. Thing. Yeah, so it helps you blend. Okay, in my second order, I spent thirty-five dollars again, and so I got a free face mask. I didn't, I don't have that, but the Aphrodite palette was fourteen dollars, and this one was by Bad Habit, and then the Athena palette is fourteen dollars too, and it comes with this one, and it also has a chunky glitter. Oh, that's the one with the my favorite colors, purple. that purple yeah, one right it's there. This one. I got two lashes for $2, and then I got this one for $3, and it comes with a mini glue in the back. So um, I'm using this primer, and it says that it's supposed to be matte and blur. And I keep, I added more because I just, I can't really feel it. Um, I normally use e.l.f. Blemish Control Face Primer, since I'm trying this new primer. So, yeah. So we'll see how it works once I actually apply foundation, but so far I'm not really feeling it. Her little, um light mirror thing has like a speaker on it and it's really cool. That's what's giving us this light right now because it's really cloudy outside. Winter is being annoying. Okay, so that's the primer. Okay guys, so we started playing music at this point and originally I was just going to put all the songs in 
but it ended up being way too many songs, so I'm just going to voice over this part and explain what's happening. After using the primer, I moved on to the foundation stick. It was pretty thick being a stick foundation, and I'm used to using liquid foundation. So I tested the foundation on my hand first, and it actually worked really well. I just put this all over my face because I'm not a makeup person and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alexis already primed and used her own foundation because we're not the same skin tone. So I might have just been me, but once I started blending on my face, it was very hard to blend and took like a really long time, even with a damp beauty blender. I could have just been blending wrong, but I also have like super dry skin, so that could have been it also. It could just take longer to blend. Because it's so creamy. I'm trying not to be a hater, but I'm just not good at makeup. I'm like so used to the things that I use. It's hard for me to like try something new whenever I don't know what I'm doing. That's why she's here. <laughs> I look so white because this is in front of me. <laughs> I tried using a brush, but it looked a little cakey. Alexis said hers has been doing this a lot lately with the weather. I freaking hate winter. Alexis used her own Tarte Face Tape as concealer, even though it's really a foundation because it's super light. She forgot I bought foundation. I bought the filter, the no filter concealer by ColourPop. So that's what I used, and it's liquid, yay! I just got the lightest shade in that. Alexis looks so light with her light shining on her face. Like, look at the difference when she turned it on and off. It's so crazy. <laughs> so um, I started blending the concealer, and it blended really nicely compared to the foundation stick. I definitely recommend this concealer, I liked it a lot. I was so convinced that I bought liquid eyeliner, so I started to read the receipt out loud to check. Loose powder, foundation stick, matte primer, fan brush, brow pincer, pencil, and concealer. That's my terrible memory at work. And I also read the colors. Uh, the foundation is Fair 30C, and the concealer is Fair 04. Next I used the No Filter Setting Powder by, you guessed it, ColourPop. <laughs> I always make sure to put this on my smile lines, because I uh, get creases there often. Now it said translucent on mine, but the powder actually was a bit tan, which is probably better than white slash translucent, which sometimes has flashback. Alexis said, I feel like it looks so dramatic on camera. I told her it was the light hitting red on her highlight. <laughs> I didn't buy any concealer or contour, so I used this Naked Urban Decay Flush Palette that my friend gave to me. Shout out to Kate. <laughs> I was struggling so much to do my contour because the lighting was starting to get like super bad. <laughs> Again, I said freaking winter, man. I think the face that people make when putting on blush is so cute. So we forgot to show the highlight palette before, so here it is now. It's called Rosé by Bad Habit, and she got it for $12 on Hust, which is where she got the rest of the palettes. There was a lot of options, and I chose the white one called Shine. I used the fan brush I got from ColourPop to apply it. The fan brush applied applied the highlight very lightly, which is good for some people, but I love highlights, so I prefer it a little darker. It was really hard to do on my nose, and it was kind of a mess. I had to like, it got on the sides and stuff, it was weird. Um, I used my finger to do the boop on my nose, and also put the highlight on my lip, or whatever that space between your nose and lip is called. The next thing I used from ColourPop was the Precision Eyebrow Pencil. I didn't remember selecting a color, and there wasn't one on the sheet. The pencil side is very thin, and there's also a brush on the opposite side. I did my eyebrows as best I could, but I'm obviously super bad at it. <laughs> this is when I realized the color was not right for me. It looks sort of orange, which you can't really tell on camera. My actual eyebrow hairs are almost black, but my hair hair is kind of orange, I guess, when the light hits it, so maybe that made it match more. I don't really know. Alexis went in with koi all over her lid and then she used blushing, a soft pink, that actually looked like super dark on camera. Just like um, Alexis's contour looked really dark on camera. And also, my eyebrows look really dark. And here I am eating, because you know it's not my video if I'm not eating at some point. With makeup, like I just don't get ideas that pop into my head. My go-to is always just brown tones, so my plan was just for Alexis to tell me what to do. Alexis then went in with Flirt, the top pink. Alexis ha has like a lot bigger eyelids than me, which makes it so hard for me to do makeup. Now she's trying to help me decide what eyeshadow look to do, which I really needed help with. She asked um, what colors, and I said I just wanted to try and match my shirt. 
She first suggested green, which she says is hard to blend, and I quickly turned that down because I am so bad at blending. We finally decided on a cut crease, which I've done that look kind of look before, so hopefully this turns out good. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> and the battery died. Quite a bit happened since then. I do have two batteries, but both were low from the Big Ben trip. So I did the cut crease using the liquid eyeshadow from Hush shown earlier in the video. And then I moved on to eyeliner, which is another thing that I'm super bad at. I had to face the other way because the light was better since it was basically dark outside at this point. I started out trying to use Alexis's eyeliner, but it was really thick, so I had to go and get my own. While I was gone, Alexis did her highlight, and at first she used her own brush, then she tried to use my fan brush. She also really loves highlight, if you can't tell. <laughs> Her makeup, like, really reminded me of Valentine's Day, which is exactly what she was going for, actually. And mine reminded me of fall. I complained again that I forgot to order eyeliner because mine was dried out. I tried drawing on my eyeliner with hers, but eventually I just gave up on doing a wing altogether. Alexis did a faded lip look from pink to purple, and I just did a glittery gloss thing that was pink with hints of gold to match my eyeshadow. I actually did end up trying to put the liquid eyeshadow liquid eyeshadow on my lips, like in the middle part, which is probably super bad, but I didn't die, so yeah, I think it's okay. Did you use any of my stuff? No. How are you going to get your opinion on that? I can't. Because I don't know what I'm talking about. And then I finally got fed up with music, realized it was a lot, and turned off the music. Finally, so the rest of this will be normal. Aha. Now mascara, I think that's it. So for the eyeshadow, I used all of her stuff. And for the cut crease, I used the liquid eyeshadow she talked about earlier. And for eyeliner, I just used random. And for mascara, I'm using random, so. I don't like to wear fake eyelashes, though. They're painful. I don't understand it. I don't, I can't do it. <laughs> it died again. Switch batteries. So we were just saying that the only things that she used of mine was the highlight brush and neither one of us really like it. Like it's so light and um it, like doesn't apply to a lot. What I normally use for highlight is a lot more dense. I don't have it with me, but it's a lot more dense and I'm able to apply lots of lots of highlight, which I like. Oh I don't have setting spray. That's another thing I meant to I wasn't ready! <laughs> I'm not done! She's a rude person, by the way. Oh, yeah. Okay, so for the setting powder, I loved. This is okay. I prefer more highlights, so that's my... I really am unsure about the um, primer because I just really didn't feel like it did enough, you know? And then the concealer was pretty good. The Foundation would not blend, and maybe that's just a me problem because I'm not good at blending. Oh, and the eyebrow pencil is just not my color. It's like very, very like red. All of my brushes. But um, I like that it's so fine and it has a brush on it, so that's it's good. It's just not the right color for me. So maybe I did pick the wrong color. Just take a close look at that whenever you order, if you order. And I will put a link below. I believe it's five dollars off your order and then I get $5 in the store or something like that. You guys don't have to use it, but if you want to, you can. Yeah, so it's $5 off your first purchase. And then um, I think it said that I get $5 for everyone who uses it. I'll put that link below. And also I wanted to ask, I wanted to ask if you guys like seeing Alexis in, this, in my videos, then give me a like and comment below what you want to see next with her. And we will do some close-ups whenever we've completely finished. So I'm not quite done. She's pretty much done. Now she's just swatching her eyeshadows. Oh, the eyeshadows were very pigmented and I loved them. I, I used the liquid one and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so pretty. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry this video was such a hot mess. Um, these are our finished looks. <laughs> um, 
Let me know if you like seeing Alexis in videos and what kind of video you want to see her in again. Obviously she loves makeup, but she's not just a makeup person. She's also, we're going to do some DIYs together and, and vlogs and all kinds of stuff because she's my best friend. So anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, hit subscribe, turn on post notification notifications so you know when I post again. And be prepared for lots of different kinds of videos in 2019 because I have a lot planned. And also, um, someone, one of my friends asked me to try to follow a Bob Ross painting tutorial and I have no idea how that's gonna go but comment below if you think that's a good idea and let me know if you have a specific tutorial that you want me to try or also I could try um what did you want me to try for makeup Nikki tutorials. yeah she wants me to try to follow Nikki tutorials and I'm very bad at makeup so that would just be for pure I entertainment mm -mm, I haven't even, even watched them that would be for pure entertainment because this is the best I've ever done, probably. Actually, the other day, I did some pretty good. For me, anyway. It wasn't, like, amazing, obviously. I'm not good at makeup. Anyway, sorry the lighting's bad. I will see you in the next one. Bye.